Here at CBS News 8, we're one big family, and we consider you viewers part of the family as well, which is why tonight we have a big news to share. CBS News' is Jeff Zevely joins us with an announcement. Our morning show meteorologist Natasha Stenbach is happy to share. Jeff? Barbara Lee and Carlo, our viewers have probably noticed that I've been filling in on morning weather for Natasha recently, and that's when I noticed this large system here to the west that was growing. And then here to the east, another system that was growing. And then I noticed that these systems were connected and growing. So we decided to talk to Natasha about forecasting her own future. We're slow to warm up because of that cloud coverage. Let's go along with her glow out of the northwest at six. We couldn't help but notice Natasha is starting to grow and sometimes reporters just have to ask the tough questions. Natasha, is there a bun in the oven? No, there's two buns in the oven. That's right. Natasha's expecting twins. And along with her big changes, there have been big changes. October 17th, I got married. <laughs> yeah. And what came with that? Uh, two stepkids who are awesome. They're both um, eight and nine years old now. Natasha found out she was pregnant in early December. So out on the weather wall, I'm thinking you pulled off the front angle for a while, but when you turn sideways. Kind of hard to hide this. Yeah. <laughs> for obvious reasons, she couldn't share her delicate state with the viewers until now. Do you feel like you've been keeping a secret? Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. Completely. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Yeah. Meteorologist Natasha Stenbach. Becoming more full figured comes with every woman's pregnancy, but not many women have to share those changes on television in front of tens of thousands of viewers. Some of these emails. Whew. Intense, right? It's difficult to watch you. <laughs> it's, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Try eating healthy, perhaps a piece of meat. It's like, wow, why didn't I think of that? Thanks for sharing your morning. With Thankfully, you. Dan and Michelle, Natasha's good friends and co-anchors on CBS News 8's morning show, have been supportive from the beginning. Were they in on the secret? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told them right away because, you know, they need to know because they started seeing, they're like, hmm, something different about you. More than something, this longtime bombshell bachelorette is suddenly married with a family of six on the horizon. Five years ago, what was your policy regarding children? No, none, zero, never ever. So is there some irony here that you're about to have <laughs> four children? Yeah, it is funny that I'm in this position now, um, but perhaps that's the magic of everything is that you don't plan it, it just happens. Kind of like those crazy pregnancy urges that come and go daily. We've been noticing some strange cravings. Totally. Tic Tacs, that's this week. As a new stepmom, Natasha is trying to set a good example for her children, which is why she sneaks off to her car at times for her favorite comfort food. Cinnamon. Toast crunch. <laughs> I mean, this is this week's food. Mm -hmm. Next week, it'll be pickles. The following week, it'll be tomatoes with raw cabbage. Who knows? What is it about this that just tastes so good? Um, I think it's because it was my favorite cereal when I was like eight years old. Mm -hmm. So, brings back childhood memories. And it just so happens that twins run in Natasha's family. This was a spontaneous occurrence. As Natasha just said, sometimes life just happens. Coming up tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. on CBS News 8, if you wake up early with Dan and Michelle, Natasha will reveal her due date and the sex of the babies. And if I can, not all of the emails were nasty. This is from Natasha's biggest fan who is concerned. And she said, how are you feeling? I'm worried about you. It seems that it's hard for you to catch your breath. And Natasha says, yes, with all of the hormones, her, her sinuses are inflamed oh. and it's hard for her to breathe. But she says she's getting enough air for her and the twins. There's a lot going on in that <laughs> yeah, first That's a lot answer. going on. I'm still laughing at the comment about try and eat something healthy, maybe a piece of meat. As a vegetarian, I'm laughing at that. Yeah, I, I, we're all laughing at that one. <laughs> yeah, people can't hold back sometimes. I missed that memo. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Good luck to her.